Well, most of the folks in Houston who've been evacuated from their homes are now in downtown at the convention center, and that's where we find our Jeff Paul live, where that building has far reached capacity. Jeff, how are things going there? Yeah, Russ, this is where some 9,000 and counting displaced Houstonians are now calling home this area and this convention center, having way more people than they expected, but they're not turning anyone away right now. Now, as you take a look over here, this is where they come into. There's a huge line outside right now, a little chaotic. They come in through this area right here. Uh, they register and then they walk through, uh, trying to get some supplies from some volunteers. And as we swing over here, again, this is a big room. They go back into that room uh, just to the right of your screen, and that's home. That's where they live right now. They're going in there and they're living and they're getting food, water, maybe some, some dry clothes, um, any necessities they need. Volunteers right now working around the clock to help them. Now, we did speak with uh, one family who uh, their house was flooded out, and the father told me, who I spoke to, said the hardest thing about this whole experience is trying to explain it to his children. It's okay. It's all right. It's not something that, you know, anybody would want to do, but, you know, you got to learn how to uh, live with the changes so, and accept them. Now, the Red Cross is telling us right now, unless you live in the Houston area, do not send goods. They need cash right now. It's uh, really hard for folks to get into this area, and by the time some of those supplies get to here, um, they're either spoiled or they don't need them anymore. So if you're going to try to help Houston right now, send cash. Reporting live here in downtown Houston, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. Yeah, always a need there. All right, Jeff, thank you so much.